turning into like 20,000 wars. Fucking raiding cunt, stop attacking my fucking guys. I need like every man I can fucking get and you're attacking my people. Why do you desperately want to marry my fucking courtier, bitch? Go away. So I wanted these men for, um... For, you know, attacking the fucking... Other guys, not not whatever the fuck this is. This crap is. Durin, and then you in here as well. Let's get over it. from that, so we will go try and take some of their territories real quick. Uh, retake some of the territories. Oh, for fuck's sake, seriously? Yep, yeah, you will do that. Definitely. Oh, fucking Christ. Seriously, why can't I just storm those walls immediately? I'm gonna lose how much to attrition sitting around here. Oh, I don't need that. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Please take this in time before they get to 100%. I'm going to go down to 8,000. Probably a bit like 7,000 by the time that gets to it. And I've got to hope to hell that I can take this before they get to 100% and I lose the war. Why is this not fucking doing anything? This should be affecting their war score, but it's it's not. This is going to go bad. And that affected it. However, this I'm going to lose miserably. In a war that I wanted absolutely nothing to fucking do with. <sighs> Sometimes I hate this game. You. Should have just grabbed all my fucking men when I had the chance. Right, well, the shields are a completely useless alliance, so they can go fuck themselves. Brandon, Duran, you can get back in, and you... Actually, I got, I got Arlen. Arlen can join the fight, fuck it. Although, he does have a pretty wife to knock up. And he's already got Burning to command there, so he can't really learn anything from battle, so... Okay, we'll put yeah, we'll put Connington back in charge for now. What are these twelve billion fucking offers? Whilst well, that's one from from my courtier again. Seriously, I'm just gonna get rid of that courtier pretty soon, just so that they stop annoying me with all these pop-ups. What? What do you want? Blackmore, no. Fair Isle. You are literally... Oh, actually, you are fairly large, but you're also... <laughs> I'm still stuck in their war, despite the fact that I'm no longer allied with them. Yeah, you're nowhere near as large as the rock. The rock is going to completely fuck you, to be honest. So, no. 
Barrow Town, weren't you just destroyed by the Starks? I'm pretty sure. Oh, the Starks just took Torrum Square. All right, fair enough. Sisterton, nope, not interested. Uh, broken Arm, I'm invading Dawn at some point, so no. Mm, nope. And I don't know who you are. Sandstone, definitely not. Alright, we're just going to blindly attack these guys. Or not, because they're going to run away. I went from 15k to 13k in like 2 seconds on that thing. The drift is a bitch in this one. It really is. Look at this. Look, like in mild winter, and then I, that's I don't. I don't know what I'm losing the attrition for. There's like nothing to account for it. I think it, it's literally just that there's no supply lanes for it, and you just get crippled. You get completely and utterly crippled. Like by the time I do anything, I've lost half of my fucking army. I'm just gonna march from High Garden. There you go, look! Fucking... I'm down to 8,000. How am I down to 8,000 already? I'm just gonna go to High Garden and kill the wall. At High Garden, I'm not losing attrition. <laughs> Who's attacking High Garden? Prince Garland's hope. Alright. Some prince is attacking High Garden. Hey, Arlen has a kid. Ellen Durandon. That's fine. Sisterton still want marriages to Sunderlands. I'm not really bothered. The Sunderlands can't really help me with anything. I don't know whether... I think that Prince Garland there must have, like, fucked the, um... Gardener men up, I suppose. And he's joined my siege on High Garden. Alright, fair enough. This fucking uh, Prince Garland. Who is Prince Garland? Uh, Prince Garland is his brother, the Green Knight. Has shown up at High Garden. Eamons of Age, he's a badass. And just like his brother, actually, he's also a badass. Hmm. It's going to be a pain in the ass finding marriages for everybody, which I'm going to have to pause at some point and figure out how to do. Because if I ignore it for too long, Lara's going to like level up uh, fucking age like very quickly. There's no point marrying her to, like, Blackhaven or anybody. Hmm. Uh, we'll have a look there. For now, I'm just focused on this crap, which is irritating, because I'm doing all of this for no gain at all. Because even when we win this, it's just, like, the fuck's the point? Because I'm not gaining anything. At all. I 
And look how much shit I'm losing to attrition. Crap, there's like a giant fucking Stormlander army there now. Why are you calling me into a war? A war with who? Between where? It's not like I have a choice, so I just have to accept, but... Who's attacking you? Ah, huh. step stones. Or you're attacking the step stones. Either way. Whatever. But yeah, look how much fucking men I've lost. Just from attrition. 5,000 there. Like, just trying to get out of the place. I bet I get down to like 4,000 by the time I fucking leave. Hmm? No, almost. Hmm. 4,000 or so men over there are... Beating the crap out of those guys. Well, at least they've ended out on a white piece, which is good, because now I can fuck off. You guys are still at war with somebody. No, you're attacking them in a holy war. Between who? Defending the Blood Royal... Uh, uh, Red March? Blood Royal. Alright, yeah. Um, you're the onwards are attacking them, guys. Alright, fair enough. What about... That's that war ended with a white piece. All of my men butchered and beaten the crap out of. Probably going to take ages just to get them back in their full strength. For what, you ask? I wanted to defend that little bit of land down there. <laughs> well, I shouldn't really complain. It's uh, to be expected. Wars are fought over stupider things. So. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to sort out my... I'm not going all the way over there to fuck with the Lannisters, by the way. That's never happening. Screw those guys. I'm going to sort out the marriages because Arlen's married, so he's sorted. I need a marriage for my granddaughter, my grandson, and probably Raymond pretty soon as well. All of these guys are master warriors, by the way. My, my kids are, like, badass. Much better than Roderick, who's their half-brother. And Bail the Bard is the heir as well as that, which is interesting. Hmm. Alright, anyway. We'll, uh, we'll skip ahead a bit, because I'm going to fuck around with finding marriage alliances for all these guys. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna marry him to the sister to marry my daughter to a fucking pirate. That's what I'm gonna do. Marry my granddaughter, sorry, to a fucking pirate. They're probably gonna be fighting with the Man of the Veil at some point, is that the thing? It's either that or I've found a Robert Sodegar who is Old Gods, a bastard, but I think. Marrying them to there gets us that, and they'd probably do matrimonial so that they get Durandon line as well. Which would get us them helping, but it doesn't. It's not really as good as uh, marrying my daughter to the pirate to the pirate king up north. Especially, actually, I can also get them to join my court first. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do, to be honest. Actually, I think I know what I can do. I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. Ready? Uh, get him to come here. And then we... Oh, for Christ's sake, why is it making it difficult? You. Demand religious conversion, first of all. Taking it sweet time. There you go. He submits to the old gods. And then... He marries my daughter. Matrimonial. Martin, whatever the fuck. He marries my daughter so that... Uh, so that my, my name inherits the... Sisterton's. Prince Hugo will betray his people and, uh. Yeah. Do we do that? Yeah. He's only heir so long as, uh. As long as he doesn't have any more children, which is entirely possible. Though he is getting on in ages. He also has a bastard son that he could legitimize. 
Which, to be honest, I'm I actually, yeah, fuck it. We'll let him keep his name. Because if he, he'll either inherit the sister turns, in which case, fuck it, we've got an ally there at least. We won't be up in the veil for a while. Eventually, we will want to make the veil bend the knee, but that's not here or there. Or he gets uh, uninherited or, you know, loses his, you know, either way, he doesn't inherit the, the sister turns and we give him some other land somewhere else. And we have Sunderlands in the Stormlands, which I'm cool with. So we'll marry them off to there. Which deals with them. Which gets us... I have to give him a bit of a coin to get it, I think. I don't know if I'll actually even give us an alliance, to be honest. Yeah, he will. He's currently attacking... Uh... Yeah, he's... I'm not going to get him... <laughs> I'm not going to do an alliance yet, though, know, because uh, it currently is under attack by the mountain, mountain and the veil. So we don't want to be doing that quite yet. All right, Prince Doran Half Blood. Why? You... Oh, um, Prince Doran is now up in the north, <laughs> since he's married to the Queen of Winter. And yeah, he's not going to come back down south. All right, fair enough. So he's up in the north now and gone to Winterfell to uh, be beside his queen. Roderick's still going to inherit. For Daisy Stark as well. But yeah, we uh, the, uh, the Dorondons and the fucking Starks are closely tied, pretty much. I forget, I forget as well that I can actually marry again. Alright, good. There aren't many choices, though, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Alright, anyway. Uh, back to doing the marriages. We still have maybe a marriage for Maldon the Mighty, although he is 80 years old now, so I'm not particularly bothered. We definitely need a marriage for Eamon and Raymond as well. And uh, Anna already has betrothed to Mountain and the Veil, so that's not too much of a fuss. I thought to myself, where the bloody hell are the Royces? And then I was like, ah, Royce has two daughters. Uh, it kind of makes me, like, shit prestige, but, you know, it's for the sake of I'm marrying into the Royce family, you know. He's got decent traits as well, strong and all that. So, yeah, fuck it. Eamon is the second son as well, so he's not got the best. Uh, Raymond, I think I'm betrothing to one of the Aaron girls. There's a lot of Aaron blood associated in, into, the, into the family. Yeah, betrothing to Bethany Aaron. So that should cover everyone, I think. Because she's married to the prince of the Stepstones now. And then that means Durin is up in the north with his wife. I just need a... Well, I don't need to. I could find a bride for uh, for the king. Just a matter of... Is there anyone... Is there anyone worth marrying for him? Given the fact that he is 80. It will literally just be for a military alliance between somebody... Because it won't go anywhere. And I, I'll never actually get any kids out of it, I don't think. Ooh. Tell what I could do. Conquest of some of these. Much of the the conquest, I can just... Some of these are revolting, so I can quickly grab some territory. I could do a holy war for that. But then they'd probably... <laughs> they'd probably join in. I've only got half of my levies up as well. Probably better safe than sorry. 
Yeah, fuck it. Well, I think we'll do. We'll grab some territory around here. And we'll grab some territory from Wrath as well. And while we're at it, we'll grab some territory from the revolting faction up top. And we'll worry about a uh, we'll worry about the holy war crap later. For now, I don't want to I don't want to push my luck. All right then, let's uh let's do this, shall we? I'm going to I think risk it. I've managed to get an alliance with the king of High Garden, so that gives me a decent ally there. What we're going to do is actually we'll declare war on these guys first. I think claim Ringwood. I can claim Rainwood through him. Hmm. Oh crap, I should have invited him to my court and then married my daughter to him through that line and then did it like that. If I do that, does that... It doesn't make it so that he joins mine, right? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, used by... To press Prince Osman and claim on Kingdom of Rainwood. Holds a higher title and is the same dynasty as Prince. Or if the Storm King is the digital lord liege of the Kingdom of Rainwood, Prince Owens will become a vassal, the Storm King the Mighty. And that is mine. So if I push his claim, he'll swear fealty to me. I think. Yes? Fuck it, we're doing that. Just in the case, it, it might not work. I think it does, but I don't think... Uh, we'll see. I'm going to invite him to my court first. There you go. Invite him to my court first. Alright, I'm like, I'm fairly certain this will work. Primarily on the basis of it being that Rainwood thing being supposed to be it's underneath my lordship. So if I do that, then that whole region becomes, he bends the knee to me. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Nobody else is doing it, is it? Defending against uh, uh, Holy War for that. Conquest of the Grey Gallows. Holy War for that. Yeah, nobody else is doing it. All right. So, first things first. That. Which then we hope that when we do that, it... Uh... I wonder if I can do this for Wrath as well. That cost me a bit of coin, but... Invite him to join me. I'll see if it works first, and then we'll try and do that on Raf with his brother as well. If I can get like him to bend the knee in turn, in turn for then we do that's a very easily way, easy way to uh, grab territory. Yeah, right. We'll deal with Rainwood first. I was going to grab regions of this place as well while we're at it, but I'm not sure whether or not I want to risk the Holy War for that chunk of land. I kind of do. <laughs> Like, we rush that quickly first and end that as quickly as possible. Hope that not too many people join from the outside. Ah, oh, do we risk it? Do we risk it? Do we risk it? Do we risk it? What's his percentage like? It's only just started. Alright, fuck it. This is probably going to bite me in the ass, but uh, we'll jump into a holy war for them as well very quickly. And then what we'll do is we'll ask you into the wars for that. I won't bother asking Queen Liana. We'll ask you into the Holy War for that. Just to keep the Reach out of... Prevent the Reach from joining them, basically. I don't need you for the Holy War for that. But I'll do it anyway, just to damage your forces. I don't need you for the Holy War, either. But I, I'll call in the Veil if a bunch of, like, a shitload of men start joining me. Then I'll call in the Veil. But until that happens, we'll just leave it be. Alright, 
let's see who, if anyone joins, joins the revolt. Yeah. The reason I'm calling the reach in is so that they can't join the uh, <laughs> join the revolt. Yeah, he's joined my court, which is fine. I'm a falconer. Shit about that though. Go immediately over to their capital and start laying siege. Okay, Magda, uh, Amund is joining me, and I have Armand in here as well. Need to try and very quickly. Very quickly wing this little war. Marlon died. Crap. Died natural death. A rough man. People feared or true cross him. And they bring him bad news. A wicked man who was surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. He wasn't wicked. He just happened to fuck his brother's wife because his brother was an ass. It's not wicked. Alright, well. Storm King Doran. Oh, yeah, I'm still Doran, right? I'm up in the north. <laughs> or he was up in the north. Not anymore. Give him a nice pointy beard like that. Yeah, and his son takes over afterwards. Or he will. Court chaplain will sign you. His vassals like him. He is infirm and maimed, good lord. Alright, let's just put Eamon, put his sons in charge. I think my heir is already the uh, liege lord. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the few people have joined. Like attackers of Sapphire Isle. Yeah. North March has joined that, and Macy's hook in a ruby. Alright, so where are these chaps? Like, they're supposed to be somewhere, but I don't know. They have an army someplace. But actually, their capital's there, so I don't know why I'm attacking down there. Focus his family for now. Fighting for your claim, dude. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Alright, there you go. That grabs us that giant chunk of land there. If 
That's Prince Ormond's host. I don't really want to be attacking him because we're trying to fucking help the moron. Alright, we'll deal with that land later. But we need to basically hand that over to somebody. Yeah, the High Lordship of Amberley. We need to grant to somebody at some point. Well, probably one of my brothers, actually. Well, one of my sons, I say. I'm acting as if I'm already playing as Arlen. So tired. Yeah, crap. Alright, uh, he's already the designated region, so that's fine. Let's stick Arland in charge. And I just need the Prince Finger Magic to stay the fuck out of my way because I'm trying to. Oh. <laughs> Your loving wife has decided that she would do better job serving as a regent after all. Who but her could rule the realm in accordance with your own desires? I have a wife? <laughs> She's in the north. I, I get what you mean. It's like, oh, alright, that one. That one's on the opposite side of the fucking kingdom. And Eamon has a kid, uh, Andrea. I'm fine with that. He's tall. Cool. Apparently she feared for her life at some, at some point. Hey, he's had twins. Uh, Duran. Who's that going to be? That's not going to be his... No, 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 that will be his heir. Yeah. Will be his heir because he's got a daughter. That's two daughters. And then... Hmm, yeah. his... The girl twin got, uh, got a better end of that, I think. Assuming she survives. Uh, I'm going to think of names because I'll be here forever. <laughs> Alright, so well, after all of that, I just called her Danny. <laughs> Danny Durandon, uh, Durand not Dondarian. Stupid soul. And then, uh, Duran. Duran Duran. <laughs> the typical fucking family name. Alright, we'll continue with the battle. Basically, wasting men really fast and exceeding these places just because I want the war over and done with. Before he gets himself killed or something. Equally stupid. surrendering. Is he? Yeah, we surrender. Gain the title of the Kingdom of the Greenwood. Alright, well, there's the moment of truth as to whether or not it counts as being uh, part of our kingdom. Yes, it does! Aha! I'm a genius. There you go. He bends the knee to me. Which is nice. Alright then, we'll, uh, we'll wait for our Wait for our men to recoup a bit, and then I'm going to fix some of the land, because he'll want some regions given back to him, I, I wager. There you go. As the first person to bend the knee, he'll be given all those lands there that you see, that he claims is his. And I'll, uh, I'll destroy the Kingdom of Wrath, and then just the Kingdom of the Rainwood will be given that. No, right, anyway. Uh, I'll skip ahead. I'm just going to deal with this land situation that we've got going on. Check out the links in the bottom left, videos in the top right. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, share, all that bollocks. And don't forget to click that stupid little bell thing that notifies you of all my crap. Alternatively, follow me on Twitter or Discord, where I'll post whenever a video is uploaded. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.